All right. So hello everyone. So we have work on the project called uh, Tell My GP. So initially the idea come, came from Amy Chapman and Amy Colory. So the problematic we try to solve is at the moment with this coronavirus, I mean, we um, have a lot of people calling 111 because they have some symptoms. Some can be minor, some can be severe. And so there are different problems. One of them is it's difficult to track uh, the state of a patient because a patient can have like minor uh, symptoms and the next day severe ones. And the idea is to involve the GP more, but in a way that they can organize, organize like a, a triage of the patient and can see uh, the evolution of the symptom of uh, a patient. So the platform we worked on allows the user to like potentially like every day answer a list of questions to see what kind of symptoms they have. Do they have like, for example, difficulty to breathe or, or do they have fever or stuff like that? And based on that, we are calculating a score and and then the GP can see all the patients for uh, a surgery and the score are displayed in a traffic light way. So we have like green, amber and red. So this is a landing page you you have when you uh, when you connect to the website. So as um, so we have two two kind of um, two kind of uh, user. We have the patient and we have the GPs. So if you are a patient, you register. So let me quickly register. Um, At the moment, we haven't uh, finished everything, so there is a still a way to improve, like um, uh, the way we check the data on everything. So when you are a patient, then you can select your uh, medical practice. So at the moment, we have only one practice, which is uh, because we we want to like uh, make a try as first with only one practice, and then we could uh, deploy it to uh, more um, surgeries. So you register and you we have a pop up because if the user has uh, if the patient sorry have severe symptoms it's better for him to for for them to to call 111 directly rather than waiting for a gp to to come back to to them but if you are if you are kind of okay I would say you uh, you can answer a, a series of questions so there is a main one, which is uh, how do you feel today? So it can give you, give us, I mean, give to, yeah, give us a, a generic idea of how uh, the patient uh, feels. And, and then you have a, a series of questions. They are not necessarily a binary question, but uh, we are uh, still in the process of improving them at the moment. So let's say you, you, you can, um, you can answer the, all the question, and at the at the end of the process, you you can leave a comment uh, for to give a bit more information to the to the to the GP. But, uh, and then you just uh, submit the the form. So then the next day you can uh, you can come back to to the platform and update your uh, your data if to so you the next day you can come back and answer the, the form again to to let the gp know if your uh, symptoms have evolved in a positive or way or not and you can check so this part is not finished yet but you can check your history as well so you can see uh, the different times you have um uh, answered the, the form. So to do that, we are using uh, uh, Material UI, Gatsby, uh, React, and Firebase for the database on logging uh, part. Um, so yeah. So now, uh, so now I'm gonna uh, let Kenny uh, explain the. Um, GP part of the of the app. Um, if you just navigate to slash GP slash patient list. Yeah. So um, 
like Remy mentioned at the beginning about having two different users, the GP and the patient, um, essentially what would happen is a GP would be contacted possibly via email with a link to the web app and with a unique uh, invitation code. And essentially what will happen is they will land onto the landing page where they will be required to um, sign up to the app using a registered email address. So this can be what the medical practice uses for their communications, a password and the identification code. And then they'll get signed up and a unique ID will be associated with the GP practice so that when a patient signs up to the application, they'll get associated with that practice when they get selected on the drop dropdown. Um, so once they have signed up to the application and they log in, they will have the ability to view all the patients of their practice in a particular order. As Remy mentioned previously that uh, the application, we are following a kind of traffic light based system. So once the patients submit daily their symptoms through the questionnaire, then the GPs will see based on the severity of their symptoms, which will be um, done via a total calculation of their score from the report and then will be represented here on the page. As you can see, you've got um, the status, which will be red, green, amber. And then this allows the GPs to essentially prioritize who they need to see um, and, yeah, essentially prioritize and triage who they need to see. Um, after this, they can um, patient list. They'll also be able to um, send an invite link also to the patients should they wish to join to the application. Um, and in terms of the GP side of things, I think that's pretty much everything covered, unless I've missed anything out, Remy Sazen? No, I think everything is covered. It is really the um, main feature for the GPs is to be able to see the patients in a prioritized order based on the uh, symptoms that are scored. Again, that is uh, built with Amy Chapman's help. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's um, the GP side of things. Um, I guess the main thing to highlight is that this um, is still a work in progress. We still have some parts of the application that needs to be completed, like the report history, which um, I don't know if we mentioned it already, but the report history is a feature that the patients can access and they can every day go back and check what they have sent to their GP and they'll just have a record of basically how they've been feeling the, pa the past couple of days. Um, so yeah, and I guess the next steps for this would be to, I think what Remy mentioned earlier is to roll this out to the medical practice that Amy's working at and see how it goes. And, you know, again, this is something that we've built in three days, which is really amazing. So well done to the team. And hopefully we can continue iterating this and, you know, make this a really good product that we can essentially ship out to any other practice. Um, but this application, I feel anyway, that it doesn't necessarily have to be used just for COVID-19. It can be, you know, changed and used for other symptoms or just, you know, general um, health, uh, you know, recording. So, yeah, well done, team.